Okay, so just a quick video on evaluating limits using something called the rationalizing technique. They're going to be a bunch of the, no, there's not. There's going to be like three techniques that you're going to need to know really well. And I keep getting these questions from students, and the question is, well, how would I know? What pattern should I see? What, how should I know that, that I should be looking for this thing? So start with this. So you're asked to evaluate the limit as, as I'm sorry, the limit of square root of x minus 5 over, the, over x minus 25 as x approaches 25. First thing we need to do is actually use direct substitution and find that. So what is f of 25? And f of 25 is the square root of 25 minus 5 over 25 minus 25, which simplifies to 0 over 0. This is the clue right here. When you get this back, if you just got if you got some number over zero, some non-zero number over zero, then your technique would be different, and how you would pursue this would would be a different story. But because you get this form, it's called the indeterminate form. Indeterminate form. This clues you in, and it says to you that this there's something going on in, going on in this function. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator. The conjugate of the numerator, right, a conjugate is to take an expression like the one I just captured here. So if the, if the expression was a plus b, its conjugate would be a minus b, right? So in this case, I'm going to take the conjugate here. Uh, I'm going to rewrite the equation here. Remember we had the square root of x minus 5 over x minus 25, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this conjugate. So I'm looking at this right here, and I'm going to take its conjugate. So the conjugate of this would be square root of x plus 5. Now remember I have to multiply by 1, right? That's the only way we can make this work. And we're going to multiply. So if we multiply this straight across using FOIL, it comes out to, well, square root of x times square root of x is just x, isn't it? And then we would get five, negative 5 square roots of 5 plus 5 square roots of 5. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25, isn't it? So I'm going to multiply this thing by the same, but I'm just, you can see I'm actually not going to do that. Here's this x plus 5 that I'm supposed to multiply by, right? And then here's this piece right here x minus 25. Well, look, we have the quantity of x minus 25 over the quantity of x minus 25, so this just equals 1 over the square root of x plus 5. So you're saying, well, why the hell do we do all this? Well, remember, we were looking for this limit right here, weren't we? But look what happens now if we do direct substitution. Again, if we just evaluate, now what's f of 25? f of 25 is now equal to 1 over square root of 25 plus 5, which is equal to 1 tenth. Now there is something of interest here because this equation, this equation here, this equation here is this equation here. What we have to note is that we have a hole in our function and the hole in our function is at x equals, is, I'm sorry, is at x equals 25, right? Okay, so let's just look at this in a more general way, if you don't mind. So in a general way, let the question be this. Let's evaluate this. Let's evaluate the square root of x minus a, well, minus square root of a, over x minus a. And let's assess and evaluate the limit as x approaches a. So what we're going to do here is exactly the same thing. And we're going to multiply by the conjugate. So what's the conjugate of this? Right. Right? Square root of x. This is negative, so its conjugate must be positive square root a. Remember, you have to multiply by 1, so square root of x plus square root of a, like that. Right? When we multiply those, look what happens. Look what happens here. Let's do the foil here. This times this, right, is just x, isn't it? Um, this times this is positive x times square root a. This is 
negative. I'm doing foil, right? I'm doing, so this is the inner part right here. I get exactly the opposite here, don't I? Square root A. And square root of A times square root of A is just A, right? So when we multiplied all that crap out, we got X plus A, didn't we? Ooh, sorry, X minus A, didn't we? Okay, X minus A on the top. We got this X minus A down here, X minus A down here. Remember, we were going to multiply it times this mess here. So square root of X plus And these crossed out, we get 1 over square root x plus square root a. Now we want a, right? Okay, good enough. Thing. Okay, keeping in mind, we wanted, remember we wanted this, right? We wanted the limit as x approaches a of 1 over square root of x, right, plus square root a. But we want x approaches a now, x approaches a, we'd get 1 over 2 square roots of a, okay? Okay, you guys, hope that helped.